Welcome to Wireman's Whimsy. I'm Lorraine and today I'm using the Daisy Lane and Birch background stamps to make this simple pretty card. You will need a very vanilla card base, a piece of pear pizzazz cardstock cut to five and a quarter by four, and a piece of very vanilla for the card front cut to five by three and three quarters. You will also need a scrap of very vanilla to create your daisy. To start with, we'll use the birch punch, or sorry, the birch uh, stamp set. And this is one of the big background stamps. So you need your biggest acrylic block. You're going to cover it with ink. We want second value for this. We just want a light background. So stamp it off and then right onto the cardstock. So what you end up with is a very, very light background, just some interest. And there's a big uh, mark here where it's a knot in the uh, wood. It's meant to be there. Um, but I would like that at the bottom so that the top is a little bit more open for the greeting. So next I'm going to stamp the stems and the greetings in pear pizzazz. When I stamp the stem, I want to stamp it off at the bottom of the page just a little bit so that it doesn't look like the flower is floating in the middle of the card. So I'm just going to punch that down there just like that. I'm also, while I'm here with the pear pizzazz, I'm going to do the greetings. Okay, the smile goes just at the top. And then the greeting is, it's your time to shine. And we'll do that just down at the bottom a little bit. Just in here. There. Now, if we like, we can adhere all this together. We haven't done the uh, daisy yet. We'll do that next. We're going to use a dimensional ad to adhere the daisy. So it's a little bit easier to put everything together first rather than trying to to tape over um, and adhere over the dimensional when you're working from the back. So we'll build this. Just like that. Okay. Now we need to take our petal pink and our large daisy. When I stamp this down. I'm going to, going to make sure that my petals line up top to bottom because that's the way the punch lines up. So this way when we put the punch over, if we're here, we, we, if we stamped it off, then we'd need to wiggle the paper and cut and trim the paper. But if you line everything up straight up and down, it makes it really easy to line up the punch. You just punch that out. Use a dimensional. And place your daisy on the stem. And there you have it. This one I did some leaves at the bottom. I do tend to prefer a very simple, clean looking card. If you prefer more leaves, there are absolutely leaves in this set that you can use first and second value. There is also the smaller daisy in this set and there is a coordinating punch for that as well. So lots of different things you can do with these sets. So I do want to say a quick thank you to all of my subscribers. I really love reading all your comments and thank you so much for your support. So thank you for watching today. If you would like to purchase any of the items used today, please use the links below. Thank you and we'll see you next time.